wow, you got a better hit than me. It needs to yeah. fill up or, or the, the whatever the heating element needs there needs to recook the oil in there. That yeah, that's, that, was, that was required with the, uh, as, as the oil got higher and higher in potency, it became thicker and thicker and harder and harder. And you had to have some battery technology change to keep up with that. And that's basically what you've got there. Preheat function is really only beneficial for the thicker oils. It's and only necessary. I noticed necessary. on a lot of other pens, you have to push the button to activate it on the Nova. You don't. You just hit it. Yeah, that's actually the reason I uh, I went with that battery is because... Great hit. Yeah. You don't have to remember to keep pushing a button. Or if you're in a dark... I might if you're in a dark club or something and, you know... I need glasses to see. I can't read the paper without them. As you get older, you find that happens to you. <laughs> and I can't ever find the button because they're always flush with the side right. of the pen. I'm always turning around. Where's it at? Where's the button? Holding it away from me. So uh, I love that about this. Well, pen. you know, the, the other that's a funny story, too, because the first manual batteries that came on the market five years ago, for, for example, um, for the e-cig business primarily, they had a button on the side. It looked exactly like that in a sense, but... What would happen is they really didn't have any functionality other than you you push the button down to activate the bat to activate it and you let it go it stopped that was the only functionality that they had in that battery so p what would happen is you'd put it in your pocket and you'd be sitting down and all of a sudden you'd start smelling something and then you'd, you'd feel like this warm sensation in your pocket and the battery had had activated had turned on button. well you didn't hit nothing it was just in your pocket but it uh -huh. had it turned on accidentally. Right. And so that was a problem for about a year or so. And then they incorporated more technology into it to where you could actually click it five times and turn and, you know, completely turn the battery off so it won't accidentally discharge in your pants. I see. Right. And so that was the first technology upgrade. And then the next one was a preheat function. And then finally, different voltage selections. And where do you see it going from here? I mean, you know, this is this. Obviously, all of this stuff changes constantly yeah, from years where ago. It's, where it's going now is it's starting to, it's probably going to get away from the cylindrical, um, you know, cosmetic look that it has now. And it's right. going to go to more of a boxier uh, sort of batteries and, you know, just different looking vaping devices uh -huh. that kind uh -huh. of resemble, you know, I don't know what, but uh, who knows. But it's, it's probably going to get away from that a little bit. I don't think the technology is going to change a ton. Um, and the oil technology. Yeah, how will that go? Will that change? Will because I mean, you've been in it since the beginning. You're right. the pioneer of it. Uh, how much drastically has the oil changed in ten years, opposed to say another ten years from now? Well, I, I will tell you this: that the oil has changed dramatically since when we first started doing this, and not all of it is has actually been a, a beneficial change. Uh, and the, what I mean by that is that originally we took. Uh, regular just hash oil, okay, that was that was blasted from, a let's say, a particular strain. Let's say it was sour diesel. Okay. And I like sour after, diesel. after it was blasted and, and you smoked or vaporized that hash oil, you could definitely tell the difference between the strains. I mean, you could tell that this was sour D. You could tell that this was blue dream. You could tell that this was, you know, OG of some sort, you know, and, and everyone had a specific flavoring. Naturally, okay, and uh, but the oil was dark. It looked like molasses, and you know, for a long time, even like in my Happy Jack pen, since there really was no window, you know, to see it all, uh -huh. I could get away with using that oil. But there was a time, I'd say about two years ago now, maybe three, that um, the first refined and distilled hash oil came onto the market. They called it Clear. Okay. Uh huh. And it was this really translucent uh, yellow oil that had been refined and refined and refined to the point where it had a really, you know, it, it looked like it, what you what you got in your hand right now. You know, very translucent, very uh -huh. clear. And uh, yeah, because this is a little bit more green yellow than yeah. normally they look a little, little more more auburn. You know, right? What I mean? But but that's you know. uh that's what it evolved. We call that distillate. Okay. And um, the the problem with distillate as it came about was to get it to look like that you have to strip out all of the terpenes all of the natural flavorings that still remained in the original hash oil okay has now been stripped out and now you're left with just a a very almost a clinical no terpene 
formula. Uh huh. All right, and and to smoke that is, you know, you've lost, you basically have lost the differences between sativa and indica. That's all been stripped out of it. Okay, and it and it all tastes the same. It's at that point, it all has the same effect. It's not a great effect. It really, it really isn't even that great of a high. Uh huh. Pure distillate, and and very few people even are willing to smoke it or buy it uh-huh. or anything like that. So what manufacturers have to do now is go back and try to reintroduce some terpenes back into the mo- the mix and try to take that product that once was a beautiful sour D that is now stripped out of all of that and try to drive it back into wherever they want it to go. And it isn't all that effective uh-huh. because the terpenes that everybody's using is they're, they're food grade, they're safe and everything like that. But, they're not the original terpenes. So we've lost a lot of so terpenes. Will that, you think that technology will change? You think that they'll come up with some type of synthetic terpene that matches, you know, what, what, what they took out of it? Originally? Well. Because, you know, everything evolves and scientists figure out how to try to do that type of right. stuff. And I think that, that if you're going to evolve, that would be the way to go, right? Well, it, it is. So it, going back to the distillate and taking out all of the goodness of of uh you know what makes cannabis really good and then trying to reintroduce it back um that's probably going to run its course for another two years per se until people probably get a little tired of that Uh uh-huh and start demanding that the the product that they're vaporizing or smoking isn't necessarily what it looks like as the driving force behind right. it. Why right? is that so important? Because it isn't to me. Well, sorry, it, it is. But it, it isn't. It, it, you know, unfortunately, this industry is that, you know, once, you know, something starts to explode on social media, everybody kind of jumps on it and it, they, it just has a mind of its own. And so all of a sudden, within a blink of an eye, uh, people stopped. I, I couldn't put darker oil in my cartridges anymore. Really? It was just like overnight. It was like people didn't want it anymore because they saw something that said, this other stuff's better for you. And they said, well, I don't want this anymore. I want this. But I oh, say, you know, wow. hey, you know, mine has the, the, the nuances and the flavor of the original extraction. We don't care. I, I want to be able to see through it. You know, and it, it just became that. And that's, oh my. that's the industry. So it runs its course for a couple of years until people start to want to go back to that's hey that's always anything everything's always retro it doesn't matter yeah coca-cola proved that remember yeah but not they, this industry <laughs> this industry man this this industry changes on a dime every yeah, six I guess months because it, well you know why because it's the it's really the dawn of it all it if is you think about it you've been in it 10 years you yeah. might think it's man 10 years seem like forever or it's been forever since i've been this is the beginning of all of this. Well, yeah, this I mean, really, I mean, as in, even we don't know. It's... Even though I've been playing around with this for ten years, I mean, it's really only become popular over the last two or three. I mean, that's really the bottom line. You know, I, like I said, I think that everybody is really caught on to the convenience it's, and flavors. It, yeah, it's, it just gets it, so it, much to it. You it's know, convenience. It's everything, and everybody's always about the now. You know what I mean? So, right. can you really jump into your car after work and? fire up a joint while well, you're taking all kinds of risks there because it smells and it's all over you, know, you. it's all over you you, and you get out of the car way, you go to the store sure you walk you everybody that you walk by i know she just burned it i mean who yeah. gives a shit at that point right but there's got to be some privacy to it sure this way you run out you take a couple of bangs off of it boom boom open your window or whatever blow it out or don't because it smells yeah. so good yeah, it'll go away <clears throat> and it goes <clears throat> Away quite quick, I I think, and yeah, and you can't really detect it, and no. and nobody's got that kind of a nose where they even know if any, and, and if anything, it's an e cigarette right. with a flavored cigarette. I got you know guys with these tanks are constantly <laughs> sucking up those oil, putting oil in it. Smells like the same thing. Somebody I know really well does that. It's behind <laughs> that camera right now. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It smells like maple syrup in here all the time. Right, ah, right, right. I love it. Well, that was the other thing, too, in the e-cig business. When the, when electronic cigarettes first came out, everybody and anybody that was trying to switch from traditional smoking to electronic cigarettes, they all wanted the same thing. They all wanted a replication of the cigarette brand that they were trying to quit, you know, Marlboro, sure. Winston, 555, five, whatever it was, Salem. And when we were selling them, that's all we could sell was tobacco derivatives. And... Fast forward, you know, 10 years later, and, and nobody buys that anymore. Right. It's all, you know, peach cobbler, sure. you know, strawberry shortcake, all that kind of stuff. 
And I remember telling people in this uh, in cotton the, candy in the cannabis industry, you know, they were like, you know, you've got to you've got to replicate the strain. And I said, you know, I, I'll just tell you, uh, in a few years, nobody's going to care about that anymore. It's all going to be I want watermelons, you know, strawberry, grape, and they're like, no, nah, it's not going to happen. And of course, today that's pretty much what's happened. It's completely and it's it's even getting it's even going to go further than that. So that's what people are doing now. They're flavoring it. They're trying to conceal it. What's the it? first thing I do when I text you? What flavors right. you got? Right. That's the first thing I say. Right. And that's very, and and uh, they're all really good. I mean, I like this. I, I'm a sweet guy. I like candy. I like mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. Sweets. I like anything sweet. So yeah, I'm sorry, but I like my weed. So I like my weed, weed, but I like my weed sweet too. Right. So right. Yeah, I think you know going forward though, I think that people are going to go back to kind of where they were before like I said before is and 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 get away a little bit from the distillate um and and try to you know go with companies that are on the cutting edge of of the technology and the research and development to where you know they're keeping way more of the cannabinoids present that were originally there that's a big thing now but it's really hard to do it takes a lot of very sophist- uh, sophisticated equipment and there's only a few labs that actually do it that's something I want to look into going forward and be able to just uh, keep all the nuances of the original plant intact right. in a vaping apparatus. But today, while everybody is just after something that looks pretty, so it's all synthetic. Basically, it's yeah. not as 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 uh, that's as, that's true as natural as you would like it or as we would. But then again, you know, you can always have both. Like you right. said, we use this for convenience, and I do. I smoke this in convenience in the car, whatever, at the movies, in the bathroom, at the restaurant, right. on the airplane. But when I'm at home or I smoke weed, I right. like weed. I like bud. I can take a fat hit off a bong. I can take a fat hit off a pipe, and, and I like it. So I pretty much, when I'm at the house, it's very rare that I'll run around holding my, my, my vape pen. Right. I, I use this for you know travel. It's like... My travel weed right, right here. Right, and, right, right. And that's what I love about it. And it's flavored, and that disguises a lot of what it, and because it's a vape, not a smoke, and that's another disguise. So it has so many uses. It's going to, you know, and, and the now, the people of the now today, everybody's got to have it now, 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 now. Hmm. This is the perfect thing for it. There's yeah. no waiting. Yeah, you, I, ride I, it. you don't have to roll it. You don't have to stuff it in a bong. You just click, 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 right. and... Yeah, I'm really pleased with how uh, that has really taken over the industry. There's no doubt about it. It's it's just it's sort of it's confirmation, you know, right. of something that you know we talked about ten years ago and 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 thought about a lot ten years ago. That you know, where's this thing going? And it's it's definitely uh, cool that it sort of has worked out like we thought it would. Good, right? Good, you know. And I think it's going to get even well, better. Well, of course and better. it is. It did only things that people want only seem to get better right you know, if, if it's in demand somebody's gonna work it to 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 simplify it or make it the best they're gonna take the intricacies of it and mm-hmm. make it the best way they right, can right and there's you know i mean i get i get hit on from all over the people from all over the country you know interested in Right. Learning how to do this. They want to get into sure. this. They're, maybe their state hey, has just turned have, legal. You your know. Oaksterdam, you could have Rixterdam. Yeah. You could teach your own thing. You know, yeah, but uh, it's it's just amazing how popular it's become all over the country. You know, and for, you know, for how all is I know. it abroad, though? Have, has any of the other countries, I know it's um, it's legal in a few other countries to, to have medical marijuana. Has this affected that industry? Well, at all? The, the, the countries that are very anti like canada just went well, completely legal you know, how's canada, this doing up there i think you know? me- yeah i they're struggling i mean they they've got their own issues but um it's it's a huge market and they're on the forefront of it and you know hats off to them for trying to be a real leader in that in that field um mexico i heard is going to open up at some nice. point soon nice. uh, maybe some nice. south american countries besides that nice. um, but this is our this is a thing we have we're way ahead of everybody yeah we I'm are fortunate to get to travel all over the world and right. I see it firsthand and not only and as, not- a, as a country but in california we are way ahead way ahead of pretty yeah. much everybody not necessarily in the vaping technology colorado who kind of went full medical well, full recreational before us right 
they they had a pretty good jump on it. They there's did. there's some good companies out they there that are produce, producing some very Washington very good and Oregon as well. Washington is very, is up there. Oregon as well, but they're a little bit newer too. But um, you know, the, the the guys in California like myself, we've been at it for longer than probably anybody. Sure, but we didn't have the opportunity to kind of go nuts on it. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, because we were still behind the curtain, you know, right. and, and and needed to be. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. Where can you uh, Where can you get your stuff at, Rick? What states are carrying uh, cards right I've now? Got, in the I've Northern, got them. Yeah. In the Happy Jacks. Tell ever Tell everybody. Let us know where you can uh, go to get this type of stuff. Happy Jacks mm-hmm. here and there in California. Vivid Carts, uh, Florida, Boston, New York. Some any sh- special. You- uh, uh, they're just all over. Or just, yeah. Or just bomb, mom, pa. Yeah. Uh, smoke shops and exactly. stuff like that. Exactly. A lot of smoke shops. A lot of smoke shops Look back for there. these. Vivid carts. I'm telling you, man, I've been smoking them for a couple of years now. Yeah. His carts are really, him being the pioneer of this. It's firsthand. You guys know I'm a stoner. I preach it. Mm-hmm. I don't give a shit what anybody thinks. I love to smoke weed in his carts. And I do. I smoke. Other people let me hit their stuff because there's other, there's other games on the block and I, this is really really good stuff so you got to check good. it out appreciate that so hey rick tell me where you can get the vivid carts and the nova pen and the happy jacks where can you get all that kind of stuff you can uh find me on instagram at happy jack vape that's my handle on um instagram happy jack vape and at happy jack at vape. happy jack vape of Great. course uh on instagram and uh you contact me and we we can talk uh what about like is there mom pa shops that carry them and is there any states and yeah and and, and, and tell tell us where you can get those those as well. uh the vivid carts can be found in in the boston boston area um new york and florida happy jacks uh some stores in california awesome you know awesome. um but uh, primarily, the vivid carts are are not within California at this time. They aren't within, okay. right? And this is the Happy Jack. And let me tell you something. Like I said, I've I've brought this many times with me. It it is awesome, especially say like when I went to Mexico. Then I throw it away there, and right. I don't bring it back with me. Right. And it's awesome. So I mean, for all of you stoners out there that you want to be, you know, uh, and and there's states that it isn't legal. So you still need to be. Really, you know, conspicuous. You can't be, yeah, you be like we are in California. You know what I mean? They don't really care anymore because it's legal recreation. So right. even though you're not supposed to smoke outside, people do. And nobody really hassles you for it. But I'm sure down in Texas, there are some states that just still not looking at it that way. So um, get a hold of this man. And yeah. uh, and, and by the way, that's, that state is one of the largest consumers of vaping products oh, in the entire really? country. Oh, oh, wow. yeah. oh yeah. There, there's some irony in that, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, if they catch you. Yeah. I remember the last time I went through that, we went through this checkpoint in El Paso and yeah. they found my stuff. Yeah. yeah. Didn't do anything but just You're lucky. rattled me a little bit, but yeah. it's like, man, you, come on. Yeah. Come at, come. Thanks for coming in and hanging out with Zetro's Toxic Vault, but I need you right now to go over to the other page, the Exodus page, and click on there and subscribe to the Exodus YouTube page. Then you'll have everything Exodus, Zetro and Exodus. Come on! But uh, yeah, it's been a it's been a fun ride, and um, you know, I mean, I, I where it goes from here, I'm not quite sure. But uh, my my goal is to you know open up a lab and great do some. Awesome. Serious R and D uh, and cool. get involved in that side of it more than uh-huh. just the production of distillate for, right. per se. Yeah, um, you know, come come up with ways to nice. isolate cannabinoids, perhaps utilize right. them in, in different medical fields. That's a That's big, completely interesting. It is. It, yeah, wow. it, it is. I mean, but look at how many people use it and medically i mean that aren't potheads or anything and they, well, they need it to help them sleep it have make, it makes the pain go right away. right helps them relax some people it helps them eat it's just got so many pluses then minuses and, to and it. i mean and we've only discovered the tip of the iceberg I, that's what i'm saying we're just in the dark yeah there are right so now. many more cannabinoids that we yeah. haven't even discovered yet that actually have if you could isolate them and uh those would be used to treat different illnesses that we had no idea that wow. could remedy at this point. Wow. So that's the future. That's truly amazing. Well, hey, man, 
Thank you so much for coming in the Toxic Vault. Thanks for having me. I love it. Appreciate you. being here, uh, man. This is great. Yeah, it's kind of cool. We'll have you back again. You can come back again. We'll talk about some other stuff. That's How about right. that? Like the Oakland A's? Yeah, we could talk about the Oakland A's. We'll do a baseball episode. We'll take <laughs> how, how we like to smoke our pen in the game, and they won't let us know. Right. They maybe won't even know. Maybe it's we like, can go to a yeah. game, and we can sit in the seat and do a podcast, and we'll, we'll be smoking hey, in the we seat do that. while the game while is going, the going on. Going and we'll see how long idea. we last, huh? Yeah. Hey, I want all of your comments, so comment in. Tell me what what you think try his cards let me know what you think and then go to his instagram as well subscribe to me right here and remember always horns up fuckers <laughs>